What's going on guys? It's about 6.30 a.m. right now. Today I'm gonna to take you through a full day of eating on this bulk. So it's gonna be high carb. It's gonna be 4,000 calories. I'll tell you my macro split later. But yeah, I'm gonna take you through my day. First off, um, I did get up about an hour ago, so I've already done this. You wanna drink a full glass of water, you know, at least 16 ounces of water. And this is just gonna kickstart your digestion. It's gonna make you feel hungrier quicker. And this is crucial when you're bulking. You know, I know a lot of people do not feel hungry in the morning, myself included, especially after getting really used to intermittent fasting. So getting up, getting in that full glass of water just really helps kickstart things. And then of course I get in my cup of coffee, I get some reading done, take the dogs for a walk. That's kind of my starting routine, maybe a little yoga, a little stretching, some abs, some vacuum work. Um, and that's the way I prefer to start my day just gets me going productive, gets me going on track to build the physique I wanna build. So that's how we start out. Um, and then within, by like 7.30, I wanna eat my first meal. Like I woke up pretty early today, so I'm not rushing to get in food, but still I wanna get in this first meal within an hour or two waking up. All right guys, so before we get in this first meal, I just want to share some of these books that I've read or that I'm reading uh, that have just really helped me out. You know, the more you learn, the more you earn, and honestly, the more you learn, the more gains you're gonna end up making, I swear. The body follows the mind, okay? Um, I did not get this far purely off of just going in the gym and working hard, okay? It's a lot of knowledge around that, of course, but not even that, it's about the mindset and believing you can even achieve what you're setting out to achieve. And these books have really helped establish that foundation and help get me where I'm at, so. First off, this is the book where it all started, Conversations with God by Neil Donald Walsh. This is the book that gave me a whole new perspective on life. I'm not a very religious person, so you do not have to be to read this book. It doesn't follow any set up religion. It's, it's just philosophy, really. So this is what taught me that life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. You can be whoever you wanna be, it's just what makes you happy, and most of the time that's gonna end up being around something that helps people through your skills, through your strengths, and just what you enjoy. Next, I'd say Think and Grow Rich along with Awaken the Giant Within. Um, these books just help you take the time to figure out what you even want in life, how much do you wanna earn, what do you wanna do, like what's the purpose, what are your values? Um, this is a lot more basic the general principles of success. Um, but again, like the first chapter has you sit down and write out exactly how much you wanna earn, even set up a very general plan of how you're gonna get there, all this stuff. So great book. This is more applied and um, goes deeper into everything else, emotional, physical, financial, mental. This is an amazing book for developing your mindset and really getting going. I'm actually reading both of these right now. Great book so far. And The Four Agreements, I just finished another really good one for just helping develop better rules for yourself and the way you should conduct your life. And this is crucial because whether you wanna believe it or not, we've all set rules, consciously or unconsciously, on how we act in the world, how why we do what we do. So your rules could be setting you up for failure, right? If, and if you don't even know your rules, how are you supposed to win? So first things first, you gotta figure out what are your, the general rules for yourself, right? And then you wanna go through those rules, take out the disempowering ones and replace them with empowering rules that make you feel really good and they're easy to obtain. Quick little example of that. Let's say one of my rules was you know, it has to do with the way I feel and receive love, right? So let's say initially my, my rule is that in order to feel and receive love, somebody has to show me affection or give me something, right? That's not necessarily empowering because you're relying on external forces to determine how loved you feel. A great change would be, I feel loved anytime I'm doing something for others, right? So then, you feel love that you can control. You know, it's no longer at just the mercy of whatever other people are doing for you. You helping people, you doing things is what makes you feel love. 
All right, so that concludes today's philosophy lesson. Um, no, but seriously, I hope you guys got something out of that. Um, this is stuff that's really, really helped me. I've always been the person to get in the way of myself. I know a lot of people are the same way. Reading these books, filling your mind and surrounding yourself with things and ideas that just promote that positivity and that belief in yourself is just what you need to do. Surround yourself, read as many things, just completely immerse yourself in that type of stuff. Simple meal for breakfast. Got two bagels with some peanut butter, toasted, an apple, four pieces of microwavable bacon, Chobani key lime yogurt, and then I'm actually using the sugar-free syrup with the bagels, and I also really like it with the bacon. Um, using sugar-free just because, although we're bulking, you know, we wanna try to keep our sugar as minimal as possible, like too much sugar isn't good for anybody. If you need the calories, you need the calories. You can use some regular syrup, um, easy liquid calories there. Like I said, it's just high in sugar, so try not to do that as much as you can. And then you can also just throw on some jelly or something like that, whatever you want. Yeah, this meal is a little over 1,100 calories. I just wanna eat like four to five meals tops um, and get 4,000 calories in. Total, I'm aiming for about 500 grams of carbs. This right here is already 150, so aim for about that amount each meal and I'll be good to go. All right guys, so it's about 30 minutes before I go work out, so I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm taking pre-workout. So first off, I'm getting in some candy watermelon one up pre-workout. Highly recommend if you haven't tried it. it. Says 25 servings, but it's really strong stuff. Like I only take half to a three-fourth, uh, half to three-fourths of a scoop. That's all you need. Multivitamin, again from one up, doesn't need to be one up, just what I prefer. And I like that one up specifically focuses on athletes, so there's a little extra stuff in there. And then I'm taking glucosamine just for a little extra joint support. Then if you come over here, this is what I'll be taking during my workout. One scoop of BCAAs, one scoop of tricarb. Um, I've just really been enjoying the mango line flavors um, that the vegan line has. And then I just like that there's nothing artificial in there, but I still use the regular ones. I'm not vegan or anything. And then the tricarb, if you guys have been following me a while, you know that I used to use carbolin, a different form of liquid carbs. And I really liked it, but after a certain point, it just, it was getting to my stomach. I noticed that my stomach just felt off after drinking it. And I just kind of gave up on liquid carbs for a while until I joined one up, saw they had a tricarb, but it actually has real food. So gave it a shot and yeah, it's never affected my stomach in any negative way. Like there's real food in here, quinoa, buckwheat, uh, chia, oat bran, stuff like that. But yeah, the tricarb just really helps you maintain energy throughout your workout, maintain pumps. And yeah, anybody who's tried the carbolin knows it really helped, but if you had that same issue with your stomach, definitely recommend the tricarb. Post-workout is gonna be two scoops of coconut ice cream one-up protein. Just an isolate protein. Mass gainers suck. I highly recommend you just make your own. Like, I'm throwing in peanut butter just for the extra calories. Uh, some vegan greens and reds, again, from one-up nutrition really good for your gut health and just getting in your micronutrients. I'll be using whole milk here, 12 ounces, one serving of peanut butter. And then instead of throwing in carbs into the shake, I just made some nachos with four ounces of the great value corn tortilla chips and two servings of the Mexican four cheese. Just threw it on there and then threw it in the microwave for like 30 seconds to a minute. This is a snack I used to eat as a kid and it's so delicious and really high in calories. It'll be just under 1500 calories, perfect for a post-workout meal, fast digesting carbs to spike the insulin, help you recover, replenish those glycogen stores, and hopefully promote some growth. All right, next up I'm having Marie Callender's chicken pot pie. Look at that, pretty small for about a thousand calories. Just easy calories. So my last meal is gonna be some cilantro lime shrimp. I've had a good amount of some processed shit today just getting the calories in, so gotta finish with something healthy. So all that puts me right at 4,000 calories. So I'm done for the night. A little under my protein goal, but not really a big deal. I went above on fats, 
a little low on carbs, but I still got over 400 grams of carbs, so I'm not really concerned about that. Yeah, just a solid bulking day full of really calorie dense foods. Everything's super simple, really cheap, easy to make, like really didn't even have to cook anything today. So yeah, if I can do it, you definitely can too. I feel like the hardest part about bulking is always just getting in the calories and getting close to your protein goal. So yeah, here's some examples of that. Hope you enjoyed, hope you got something out of this. Um, next video is gonna be focused on workouts. So if you have a preference as to what muscle group you want me to focus on in my next video, let me know down in the comments. I will just pick whichever one is the most popular or whichever one I feel like doing, I don't know. Uh, anyways, hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.